Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snack him. What's happening? Carol Baskin. All right, week five. May 4th, May 8th, it's actually going to be uh, starting on Tuesday. It's only a four-day week, so there's not going to be any office hours on Monday or any assignment due. Um, your assignments are going to start on Tuesday. And day one on Tuesday, you have a very simple discussion looking at what we're going to be starting case number two, which is apartheid in South Africa. So very simple, a couple different uh, documents here for you to look at about explaining very simply what were the origins of apartheid, how did it become law. Um, there's a reading from chapter four. It's about 28 pages. Um, put some time into kind of putting together the idea of Tuesday, Wednesday's assignment. Uh, Wednesday being kind of a look at the vocab that you read uh, in this chapter. Uh, and if you don't really know a lot about apartheid, this is going to start getting a little bit more difficult. Case study number two is usually a lot more difficult because we don't have a lot of knowledge about why apartheid started in South Africa and why it's different from segregation and the battle to defeat segregation south uh, in, in the South in the United States. Day three, so this will be Thursday, is a discussion uh, about uh, apartheid and really looking at kind of the leadership between the sides uh, that were kind of enforcing the idea of, of South African apartheid. Um, and the idea of looking at some of the leaders um, in this paragraph that you're going to write comparing them. Um, and that's a key part because the comparison issue is going to deal with your summative, which will open up on Friday. Um, so you won't really have access to it until Friday, uh, but you'll have until Sunday to work on it. Now, in this one, it is a Google Doc assignment, and it is, like it said, the format of question 15. Many of you noticed and were kind of confused, however, that question 13 and 14, like, how do I write that? 15, just like 13 and 14, has this little PDF attached. That is a reading that says this is what question 15 is like and what you're going to be looked at from this. You're going to get two sources that you have to compare and contrast. And the comparison contrast should basically be done in a running comparison. Um, it is going to look like this. You're going to get two sources. They're going to deal with apartheid. And there's going to be a question that says um, explain the similarities and the differences in a comparison. And you're going to do it right on this document and then submit it. And so this one's a little bit different because there's not going to be a copy and paste aspect to it. And it's also a little bit harder. Um, uh, you have to do a raw, a, a running comparison with good linkages between the sources to the ideas of apartheid. Um, and so uh, this is a good little uh, beginning to what will be case study number two. And this is really what we're going to look at for the next four weeks, uh, three or four weeks here of looking what apartheid was, how it uh, impacted South Africa, some of the leadership, and it goes in kind of the same process of what we looked at uh, with with the civil rights movement, then kind of the mobilization effort against to fight it, and then ultimately what the effects were long term. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please make sure to drop by to my office hours and check in um, and just keep working hard. Everybody's doing a really good job and uh, hope to talk to you then.